ni papa wa byikore cyangwa yohereje abandi bantu ni papa wa bikoze ni wa mwiciye some things happen and we can't believe that they are happening to us or even the ones we love and sometimes these things make our life as horrible as it has never been at all She is called Alice, a 16-year-old girl that is taking care of her brothers. Nene papa amaze kuba yakwica mama. Twagiye mu buzima bundi tukajya twimenya nyine. Twimenya ibintu bya ibyo byose. Well, it's not a normal thing that a girl this age should be raising her siblings all by herself. But what happened to them is something very terrible. You could see it in her face when she was talking about it. Their own father mercilessly murdered their mother in cold blood. They never forget that day when they had to run for their lives in fear that their father was also going to kill them too. Explaining this makes them remember what they call a nightmare that they still live with up to date. He is called Emmanuel the second born of this family and he is 13 years old this is Emable he is 10 years old and he is the last born among them these two go to school because it is free and government aided for kids in the village who cannot afford to pay school fees those school fees is free surprisingly Alice cannot go to any. She had to drop out of school because she is the eldest of these children and she is the one that has to take care of them each and every day. She has to always find food for them, which is not something easy at her age. Before all this happened, of course they had a family. They had a father and mother who shared a lot of love among themselves. But all of a sudden things mysteriously changed and their father became a person that they had never seen before. He started having affairs with other women. When he came back home, his wife was always mad at him because of what he was doing. They always ended up fighting each and every day in front of their children. And this is not something they call good at all. The fighting and the beatings went on for a very long time. Their mother couldn't take it anymore and she therefore decided to live with the kids and go somewhere else because what they were going through was a lot of suffering. Their father refused to let go of the children and told her to leave and go somewhere else. She could not leave her kids, so she decided to go and live across the street. That way, she could at least keep an eye on her children and still talk to them sometimes. Her husband brought in another woman, and these kids say that she was very harsh to them and mistreated them to the extent that they also wished to go and live with their mother though she was not living a good life at all ah ni mama yafuye tyari bibiri na 18 mwe kumbye 18 when their mother realized that her children were being tortured she had to do something about it Obviously, she couldn't watch her children being treated like this and still do nothing. She had no strength to fight with her husband or the other woman. So she decided to go to the police and report this abuse. But before she did, something happened. Her husband was watching her since she lived across the street. He grabbed a knife and followed her slowly by slowly down the path 
and she totally had no idea at all. Ya mimi shirini shoro bya genzi. Ni shingo masaa 10 ni ngaje kuvuma ngaje kumurega nyene kugira ngo azaturere yari yaranze kuduta. Kugira ngo nyene papa bamufate nyene mama zetu bahane. He got close to her and stabbed his wife to death. Her kids had their mother screaming for help until she died. They were scared and they also had to run for their lives. Well, their father did not manage to get away with this because he was later arrested and taken to jail. They did not manage to go to court and know what was happening to their father because they were still too young. The elder people in the society who attended did not tell them for how long their father was going to be imprisoned. They started living on their own because they had nothing else to do. Alice is the one that takes care of her siblings. And there was no way that she was going to ever get money for buying food unless she started working and she had to figure out something. She started selling donuts along the road and this is not a good business at all because she does not get money every day which means that she hardly manages to get food for her brothers and when she is blessed she gets a few coins which she always uses to buy food since food is a problem this means that they cannot afford anything else at all these are the only clothes that they have and they wear them each and every day of their lives well about washing them it is something that they really do the boys go to school but they get the worst results in the entire class and this happens because they do not eat bathe or even sleep well this is one of the reasons why they hardly concentrate in class and there is no way that they can ever get good grades with what they are going through Emmanuel and his brother say that they also want their elder sister to go to school too because they get sad when they see her struggling to raise them yet she is also 16 years old and they think that she is too young for this but they failed to do anything about it they always try to help their sister with housework like fetching water firewood and a lot more they say that most of the times they don't want even to go to school and leave her here to do everything all by herself but she forces them to leave they are now requesting for help so that they can get some food clothes and a better life than the nightmare they are going through today they believe that their future is not going to be good at all if they don't study and it's becoming impossible because of the life that they are living now The funds that will be used to give these children a better life will be donated via GoFundMe, a link that is in the description of this video and pinned in the topmost comment by Afrimax English. If life was something we could talk to, a lot of bad things wouldn't be happening and a lot of innocent people wouldn't have to be hurt at all. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.